it's Wenji and photography hug. So today I'll be sharing with you photo hacks to improve your Instagram game. And guys, follow me on Instagram because I'm going to do a little self promo here. So if you want to take more cute photos on Instagram, please keep watching. Cool things you can do with simple items you can find around the house or you can grab... Oh, hi Boomba. Grab your best friend. Like Boomba. Actually, you know what? He's not really gonna help me. He actually just wants to be here to plug his Instagram. Boomba underscore munchkin. Follow him. You happy? You're not gonna help me take photos, are you? So guys, I really love photos with different colored lights because, you know, it just makes it so much more interesting. And for this hack, all you'll need is a CD. And guys, some of you may be sitting there and having not ever seen a CD before, so um... Good luck finding it, but the effect is worth it. <laughs> and not every single CD works. How you can tell is at the back of the CD, it should create a purpley rainbow kind of reflection. And the ones that are not going to work tend to have an orangey kind of tone. And to create the rainbow effect, you need some sort of directional light. You can also use your phone flashlight, which will be the easiest thing for this. And guys, you can only get the rainbow in certain angles and directions when the light hits the CD. So sometimes it's hard to do by yourself. Get a friend to help you to make sure you can find the right spot while you're taking the photo. And this is the fun part. By moving the light towards and further away of the CD and changing the angles, you can change the size and strength of the rainbow. And if you guys don't know where to place the rainbow, safe spots are on the cheekbones, around the eye area. I think this creates such a beautiful effect. So this hack is a very popular technique in photography and it's super easy to do. So the next time you're sitting down trying to think of an idea for a photo with your friends, this is gonna be a great one. Oh my gosh, this rainbow cheekbone. I don't think I need highlights if this is like my highlights, guys. This is so pretty. I love how it just like sits up there. You know what? This is inspired by an Ariana Grande album cover. I don't know if you've seen it, but I feel like it's a similar look. Ah, I love it. So this is the vertical version of the rainbow going down your face and it creates a very, very interesting. I can see why they use this in photography a lot because it just makes it look really fancy and it was just so simple to do. Ooh. So the next hack gives such a whimsical, beautiful vibe. It's using a lace tablecloth. So it looks incredibly funny from the outside when you're actually taking this photo. But trust me, you're going to get some really amazing photos. So what you want to do is find a well-lit area and stand next to that. Have your lace tablecloth ready and just throw it over your head. You could totally do this look by yourself by holding your phone in front of you and taking a selfie under there. Or if you want to do more poses, you can ask a friend to take a photo for you right underneath the tablecloth. It's gonna get cozy. And what you'll end up with is this super dreamy, angelic type of look. And while I was doing this, guys, I felt super silly. Didn't feel right. I literally was standing there with a tablecloth on my head. But when I actually saw the shot, I was like, whoa, looks good. You know what? This is so dreamy. It, you could almost kind of do this like lying down, I think. That would make a nice shot like I was standing up. But you could also do it like, you know, as if you're like sprawled. But you know what? If you turn this picture the other way, it could look like I'm lying down. I love how the tablecloth diffused the light on my skin and it just made it look really soft. Hmm, that's super cool. So guys, I love the fairy lights. They just kind of add something to a room. I know on Pinterest, you can see fairy lights everywhere. So I think this was such a cool thing to use for a photo and I wanted to see how creative I could be with it. I'm super inspired by them. I think they're so aesthetic. So let's get right into it. The first thing you need is battery powered fairy lights. So when you go online to shop for fairy lights, you can find fairy lights of varying lengths. Honestly, the length is up to you. I chose a longer length because there's more I can do with it and I could create so many different looks with more fairy lights. So the first thing you want to do is hang the fairy lights along your bed frame and along your bed in any sort of pattern that you want and you can totally play around with this for different looks. So what you want to do is maybe pose on the bed, grab some fairy lights and also play with how you're holding them, where you're holding them, in front or behind, to the left or to the right. Be creative. One cool tip for you guys if this look is really easy to achieve, just get your friend to hold the fairy lights right next to the camera lens, kind of like this, and adding that to the foreground creates a really, really cool look. And by doing this, you can get these really cool circles and they're called bokeh. And honestly guys, I love this. It creates an interesting perspective when you add something to the foreground and you're in the background. And you can use this foreground background technique using a lot of different objects. So play around with it and see what you can create. Whoa! Oh my gosh, guys. This one looks crazy. It almost looks like I have like this fairy-like crown. Reminds me of Empire. This could totally be an Empire look. Why didn't I put this in my music video? Wenji Music. Search it on YouTube. <laughs> Whoa, I'm so impressed with this photo. Did not feel that cool when I was taking it, but 
impressed. So guys, if I look around my house, like honestly, I've used every single background and a lot of places around my house kind of look plain. So if you're stuck and you want a super cool background, you can actually make your own. So what you want to do is set your TV screen to any kind of background of your choice. For me, I chose a variety of flowers and everything. To be honest, guys, I couldn't figure out how to change my background and this was just the default sliding wallpaper. And I literally just waited there until a nice one popped up and took a photo. <laughs> This is such a cool trick because when you do figure out how to change the background, you can choose any sort of background you want. I mean, you can probably even pretend you're on vacation. Who knows? Maybe you can trick some people on your Instagram. You'll look like you're going on vacation every other day by being the Maldives, and being Paris, and being Bali. I think people will kind of catch on, but you know what? It's gonna be fun. What? This is a TV screen? No way! I mean, I'm impressed. It kind of looks like I'm standing in a studio or in like an art museum or something like that. Somewhere more interesting than my living room. Ooh! If I could have picked different backgrounds, I could have had so much fun with this. So I think this next one is really cool because it adds a little bit of a fantasy vibe to your photo. You'll need paper, marker, scissors, and a pack of feathers. First, draw a set of wings on paper. And if you guys don't know how to draw wings freehand, you can actually look up wings on your phone and then put the paper over and trace it. So what I did to make them symmetrical is I folded the piece of paper in half and cut it out. This made sure they looked exactly the same. Then glue the pieces of feathers onto the wings like this. And make sure they're all facing the same direction so they look more neat. Once they're all stuck down, let it dry and now we're onto the fun part. You want to find a slightly windy area. This creates an element of movement in your shot. And if you can't find a windy area, you can try methods like flicking your hair to create movement. So get your friend to put the camera on a surface or on a tripod so it stays still and get your friend to hold your wings in front of the camera on each side. And then they want to maneuver it so it looks like it's sitting on your back. And then take the photo and you could play with this. I decided to pretend that I was lifting off the ground about to fly off. But there's a variety of poses that you can definitely play with. Ooh, wait, what? That's crazy. Okay, I love how even the sun is poking through between the buildings. That is crazy. And also, I mean, I see Max's hands there. Max, yo! <laughs> so it's kind of like Max is holding me back from flying. Yo, Max, let me be free. <laughs> I'm actually impressed with the overall shot. I actually didn't feel like it turned out like this because all I was doing is standing there for a very long time. Yes! So I love candles, guys. You know I'm obsessed with them. I just love the smell. But you know what? You can use candles to make a really cool photo. So what you want to do is find a candle holder with really interesting cutouts on the outside. So you want to place a candle inside the candle holder and then light it. So once you light up the candle, you'll see that the candle holder will create super cool shadows. So to make these shadows be more apparent, you want to be in a dark room. And you want to move it around to create different effects. Play with the direction where you're going to put it and also whether it's closer to your face or further away. Way. These create different shapes. So without seeing the photos, it looks like it would be such an interesting photo. So I can't wait to see what it turns out like. So I'm guessing that this photo is going to look kind of mysterious. So we'll see how it turns out. Oh, wow. You know what, guys? This could look so cool if you're super up close and you just like cut it and not know that the light is coming from a candle holder. But if you actually see the shadows on my face and maybe just like crop it like that, that could be such an interesting shot. Ooh, I like it. It looks really, it almost looks kind of like sinister, mysterious, but in like a beautiful way. So for this next hack, we're also going to be using fairy lights, but you'll also need a clear umbrella. This is actually super cute if you do it right, but it's going to take a little bit of DIY. So we're going to be sticking the fairy lights along the ribs of the umbrella. So I suggest that you use clear tape to stick the fairy lights on so that you don't see it on camera. They made sure that each string of the fairy light along the ribs were the same length all the way around. And to do this, I counted the number of fairy lights I wanted hanging over the umbrella and I chose six. Oh, also one tip guys, you're gonna have this battery pack. I didn't know what to do with it, but what I did was is I stuck it on the top, underneath the whole bunch of fairy lights on the top of the umbrella. So play around with the poses. You can actually go outside and take it outside standing up, or I've chosen to sit on my bed. Make sure you're in the dark so you can see the fairy lights clearly. And what we did was play around with the shutter speed. We used long exposure to create these cool light trails and basically just spun the umbrella around while the photo was going on. And it created this super cool effect. 
This setting is usually found on a DSLR camera, but some phones actually have this. And another tip is if you use slow-mo or time-lapse on your phone to create a cool video, that might actually come out really creative as well. And definitely guys, this photo will add something completely different to your Instagram feed. Most likely you haven't got a shot like this before. I mean, I haven't. I was like really amazed. I'm so excited to put it on. You'll find all these photos up on my feed. Whoa, this looks so good, guys. I actually didn't expect this to turn out like this. It looks like I have superpowers, like just a bunch of fireflies flying around me. You can't even really see the umbrella in this shot. Whoa, this looks amazing. I'm so impressed. I love playing around with light and long exposure. I think it just creates such interesting, interesting elements. Ooh, so this is another variation of the umbrella shot. This is just holding the umbrella. It almost looks like I'm in a magical fairyland. I love it. So this next hack I think is very interesting, but it's a little bit harder to pull up. What you need to do is take two pages of a book and fold it inwards. This may look easy, but the hard part comes next, which is you have to tape these together using sticky tape. And I actually had to get someone to help me to do this. But basically you wanna stick a piece of tape here in between the heart, and then the other piece needs to go over the top of the heart so it doesn't pop out. So then set the book down on any surface, like a table, floor, chair. So for my hack, I put it on the table. Get your friend to pop the camera through the actual hollow heart area and then maneuver yourself so you're in frame. What you want to do is try a variety of poses. I mean, I decided to be super cliche because it's a book. I decided to read a book on the other end, but you can be more creative than that. I mean, Mia came, I put Mia in front of it. We tried a bunch of different things. There's so much you can do with it, but I think it's so creative because it creates that heart frame that you can now frame your picture with. So a great tip for taking this photo is to focus on your face or the actual shot, not on the page. Pages. And sometimes if you're using your phone, it might focus on the pages instead. Just tap in between the heart to focus right through. In my head, this shot would have been a lot better. I'm actually not too impressed with this shot. I think I could have improved it a lot more, but I mean, it's interesting. All right, guys, let me know which hack was your favorite down below. Also, don't forget to follow me at Wenji. I'll be posting all the photos I took today on my Instagram. Also, guys, I released a single Empire. Don't forget to check it out at Wenji Music or YouTube search Wenji Empire. It's a bop, guys. I really love this song. Check it out. I also did a dance practice so you guys can see me dancing to the whole thing. And until next week, I'll see you guys then. Bye guys. Love you. Mwah.